Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series and this is part 8 where we will learn about router. In the previous episode, we have learned how to create routes and we have also seen how it leads us into a complicated, messy and problematic code. The reason being that we maintain all the routes in the same file which over a period of time will increase in size and will lead to a lot of complications. So how do we solve that problem? We solve that problem by using router. That's what this tutorial is all about. Welcome back friends. This is ExpressJS tutorial series. This is the part 8. If you haven't checked out the previous episodes, please do so, so that you have continuity in your learning. Alright, so let's now talk about router, right? So over a period of time, our routes grow in size and it becomes extremely difficult to manage the code and the routing. Any change that we need to do at the routing becomes really costly affair. And one of the most beautiful thing about ExpressJS framework is how easy and convenient it is to manage the code, right? Express uses modular approach, which means we can use router to easily develop, maintain, extend routes for each modules, right? So we need to create a router object and then create routes for respective modules, right? So that was the theoretical explanation. If you have any doubts, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you. Now let's get to the hands-on exercise. So just a quick recap. Uh, if you remember in the previous episode, we talked about creating an e-commerce application and we discussed how we will need so many different modules like users, products, items, reviews, comments, etc. Now for each of this, we will read a lot of operations, right? CRUD operations, right? Create, read, update, delete, etc. And we also saw that how do we create routes? So if you see here, we are creating so many routes for users, for products, etc. So this grows in size. So how do we solve it, right? So how do we solve it? We solve it by using modular approach, right? So what do we do? We, uh, we take modular architecture, modular approach to create modules, right? So how do we do that? So let's first create a new folder, right? I'm going to call it routes or you can also call it modules, whichever suits your application. But mostly in applications and companies that I've worked, they use routes. So I'm going to use routes here as a good practice. So let's create a new file here, right? Now let's say users.js. This will have all the details with users. Similarly, for orders, you will have orders. Similarly, for products, you'll have products and you have items.js, etc., 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 right? So you get the point. That means this is used for separating out code for respective functionality, right? Now let's talk about any of this, right? So you can take, these are all empty blank ones. So let's go to this. So how do we write the code? So first what we do, same, just like how we did it in index.js, we have to first get the require express.js, right? So we are doing for products. So let's do it here. The first line is get the express imported and then we will say router equal to express.router. Right? We create an object of it. Then what we do, we do router dot. So here we will specify the path. Now I'll say slash. Then again, this is a function, right? So you can write response, request and response. And you can close it here, right? So far, simple. This is what we have learned in the previous app also. But here, the the trick is we are separating out for each module. Let's see here. Response dot send. Here I'm sending uh, get request for products. Right? End. Now, anything that we will refer will be referred as slash products now. Right? So how do we import this? We will go to Right, so we will go here and we will write where products equal to require right dot slash routes 
slash products out slash products and we close it here and we are saying wherever there is slash products it should go to the products module right so now this is slash means its products similarly I'll create one more route and I will say get product details say some other route so now the path for this will be slash products slash get product details the path for this is slash products right? that's the home home or the route for this particular module so now this is slash products this is slash products slash get right a lot of times um, people make mistake by thinking by not adding this so that's not correct you should add slash product since it's its own module all right so that being said now let's import it in the index dot we have done it and we are saying slash products for products now people say should it give the same name as this no you can give any name you want right so whatever name you give here will be the one that will be appended here so if you give p it will be p it will be p here right so whatever name you give there is the name same name you should use here to refer it right so i'm going to use products to keep it simple now let's go ahead and run it to run you will say index index.js okay so there is an error let's fix that uh, what's the error so it says router.use right uh, it says router.use using a middleware uh, got an error but dot use router dot use okay so let's go and check that right so here we'll use router dot use right okay okay so now let's go and try and compile it again again okay there is an error let's see just a bit one second uh, router dot okay because we have not exported it that's the reason friends I'm sorry okay so here we will say module dot exports equal to router okay so so now it's compiled so the reason was I did not export it but it's an ES6 module so it, we need to export it all right so now we have got it now let's test it so I'm opening postman and will they say products so it's a it says get request for products now you will say get product details right I think uh, the object has same value so specific product right I'm just showing you the difference how it should be referred let's cancel it and load it again all right so now you see it says get request for specific product now this is a module it's inside products inside get product details right so this is a modular approach same way you take it same take the same code go to users paste it here then change the name and now everything will be slash users right slash user details specific user for users right so in the index again we will import it right and we'll call it users and we'll include one more link here and now we will call users here again we'll copy this so see now all the code that we had here for users can be easily moved into our module right so I'm cutting all the code here so now see our code is becoming minimal in this file and moving all the code into here this will be make it very very easy to maintain and just call it router router see how beautiful now the code will be how easy it will be to manage the code right so see now we have got it now everything is with respect to users right so similarly for products you cut everything here and paste it in the product so now your file is empty right it's much easy it's much simpler to maintain 
it's it's much modular so this is how you do in real time applications where you have to manage multiple modules and you are working with bigger team you will definitely work in such similar pattern so now you see you're basically nothing your code has just two lines in the index which is to import the modules and now all the calls that you do will be slash product slash users right so before i leave you i will show you demo of this let's say create user right so let's restart our server so let's node dot index so now it's running and i'm going to go to my postman i'm going to go to user slash and what's the endpoint it says post create user so create user and it's a post so make it post so list of users right you see here list of users right uh, similarly you can also get update user uh, <clears throat> update slash user okay it's a put method right so put method so see list of users for put method so that's how you do and you see your code becomes really if i remove all the notes this is how your code looks like right now with your recent changes right this code is simpler easier much easy to work and it's much modular because everything related to products will be in products everything related to users will be in users everything related to orders will be in orders so it's much easy easy to maintain easy to work easy to kind of you know extend it for functionality i hope this is helpful to you i hope you're learning i hope you're practicing along with me let me know if you have any doubts i'll be happy to help you in the next episode we will learn how to build dynamic urls or also known as url building extremely important